Hello again and welcome to um, Tech Talks. Today I have the pleasure of um, um, having Chidi um, on our show today. Chidi is the uh, executive chairman of the GIG Group, um, which ranges from energy, media, logistics, and, and transportation. So, Chidi, welcome to the show. Yeah. Nice so, to meet you. Thank you. So, um, your transportation service is really innovative. Uh, from the perspective that people, you actually have an app that people can use to schedule their their, their trips. How, how did that come about? You find that transportation in, in general is a very uh, interesting industry. Um, I mean, I started playing in that industry about uh, since 2009. Okay. So when I came into the industry, I found that uh, the industry was is like mostly unstructured. And then when you think about transportation and the advent of civilization, you find that the major catalyst to human civilization is basically transportation, movement of people and goods from one place to, to another. So I find that in Nigeria, uh, be it passenger transportation or just general logistics, it's almost very unstructured. So in the transport industry, we first um, set out to um, reinvent like services. You know? So generally in Nigeria, you find that um, our service standards, I mean, it's getting better now you know, with the likes of diamond banks and the rest. But uh, you find that just generally service standards in Nigeria is a bit, yeah. uh, you know, backward. So we set out, you know, to reinvent that service industry. And then the next step for us, obviously, was um, the technology drive. So you find the industry, you know, being very unstructured, uh, you know, people just, you know, I mean, the way transport was yeah. being run, mostly under the bridge. Yeah. You show up to a terminal, a structured terminal, you're not sure exactly what time you're going to be traveling. And then you find that increasingly, you know, especially in a country like Nigeria, which is, um, you know, the largest like black nation in the world, um, you know, over 180 million people. And uh, most of our people, like our team in Utah, you know, becoming more mobile friendly. Most people have smartphones. So we're thinking like, how can we, um, you know, reinvent that transport transportation industry and make it more convenient for people to be able to use their smartphone to book their ticket. So basically for us, it's about changing the internal way of running the logistics business and also changing the external way, how people perceived the industry. The customer experience is going to be wonderful. Yeah. You know, before, I can imagine, you just go to a terminal, you don't know where yeah. you're leaving, you don't know who yes. you're driving, you don't even know where you're going to get to your destination. Yeah. But the innovation must have been come from internally how did you because you know it's getting people to put a platform in place that people adhere to yeah it's getting making sure the driver is there on time yes. making sure making sure the driver drive safely and get get to destination yes. so how did you had how, how i mean uh, you're not the first company that tried to yes. instill order how did you manage yeah. to do that basically um our opinion is like any um you know industry any company that is going to thrive in the future has to be technologically inclined and driven um, so uh, it was a no-brainer for us to like, you know, focus on technology. Um, again, if you if you are used to or very familiar with the transport industry, like I said, you find that it's a very unstructured environment. You know, you have a lot of, uh, you know, I mean, dealing with drivers. You know, all the forces are. How do you deal with those drivers? It, is, I mean, it's crazy, but like almost all the forces are against you. So, like I said, it's it's a struggle. It's an internal struggle, but for us. Um, you know, the future is more important than where we are now. So we feel like if we want to be sustainable, you know, if we want to scale, you know, that technology drive, obviously. So, for example, like in our company, we have a dedicated department called the ICU, uh, Intelligent Control Unit. Mm -hmm. You know, from that place, we are able to monitor all our vehicles, monitor the speed limit of our drivers. You know, so technology increasingly helps us. Uh, I mean, we have one of the higher safety standards in the industry because we're using technology to, um, you know, tackle um, safety um, standards and giving incentives to our driver, mm -hmm. you know, for keeping like that safety standard. So basically, if you go above the speed limit, we get an alert. The driver, who, who we call captain, also gets an alert, you know, to say that you're, I mean, going above the speed limit. So we're using technology to, you know, tackle that. And then from the consumer perspective, people are able to, from the comfort of their home. This, I mean, wasn't happening like maybe three, four years ago. You can book your ticket and then show up at the terminal after paying and then travel. So you don't have to wait up in line and, you know, all of that. And then, um, you, you know, so, so... If yeah. I'm traveling and I get on the bus, can, yeah. 
can the person that I'm going to meet know exactly how long it's going to take for me to get there? Yes, absolutely. For example, one of the newest things we've added, especially on the transport side, the logistics and transport is a 24 hour call center. So you can just easily call the call center and give them a ref code. And then uh, the uh, customer care representative can put in the ref code and tell you exactly when the bus would arrive like the uh, the terminal so we've basically connected everything like our mapping system you know to the mobile app you know to the ref code to how people just like increasingly um go about doing but their business i was just thinking a good thing why can't we just why can't i look at it digitally yes but now you you know that i can think yes. of the op different negative opportunities uh, exactly where to call, you know, uh, exactly uh, so to let's say for example you have a kid who's traveling from Lagos to Abuja, you want to find out, you can easily call. But increasingly, as we begin to, you know, um, uh, you, you, you know, um, more people begin to appreciate the importance of technology in road transportation, you know, we can begin to open that platform to even like the individual customer. So you should be able to go on there, put in the ref code, and then the ref code obviously is tied to the bus. Mm. you know that that particular passenger is yeah. in you know and then um in, in the next couple of months one of the new innovations we're testing in now is um the captain's app so um from january for a driver to be able to function within our system they need to be able to have an app so from their app they'll be able to get their trip schedule from their app they are able to get their alerts you know so they know exactly how much they've earned they are able exactly. to choose their routes. They know how much they've spent on maintenance. So we're, we're basically moving from a transport company to a transport platform. So we find find that, like especially here in Nigeria, uh, most transport companies usually exist uh, maybe after first or second generation. Yeah. So we are transitioning, you know, from just a transport company to a transport platform that is driven, you know, by technology. So individuals, the captains, you know, should be able to own their vehicles within the system. So an Uzoma, for example, um, instead of you starting up Uzoma Transport Company, mm -hmm. you should be able to buy buses and put within the system. And then from the comfort of your home, you should be able to, you know, see how much, uh, you know, you, you, you've made like, you know, over the course of a month, you should be able to know how many passengers entered your bus and all of that. So creating wealth yeah. and then scaling, you know, technology is only that platform that can really help you, you know, scale and reach you know more people than when you do things like you know manually so is this also um happening on the logistics side of the business as well yes uh, absolutely uh, the, the logistics for us is even more exciting uh, you know i mean for 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 people like us who deal like you know a lot with you know uh, customers consumers you know on the logistics side you're mostly dealing with like movement of goods from one place to the other what so, type of customers do you have there? are they big customers small businesses or on the logistics we, side yeah yeah from you know individual customer to merchant to, to big customers so for example you know we're signing on the likes of uh, miniso miniso is like the new chinese yeah. you know firm that just came into to you know so uh, you know increasingly having partnership like that because like we really understand the industry so for us gigl which is gig logistics so we think in our group um, that we understand the nigeria market you know so we shouldn't necessarily allow the likes of the dhl of this world to yeah. play Exactly. better than us in the industry yeah. because we understand the market so you're more nimble and mobile and agile I exactly exactly so yes so, yeah because it's very interesting because i see as com e-commerce yes. is exploding yes it means yes the payment is faster like yes the goods we have to move from point a to point b yes so it means logistics going to play a big role absolutely going to get bigger absolutely and so how are you positioning yourself for that explosion all right so so all of our technology are proprietary technology so we build them in-house so like the transport side for example you know if we were setting up a financial institution we could you know probably uh buy uh you know off the shelf um, you know applications to, to run our business but you know like i said earlier on the transport side uh you can't you wouldn't necessarily find off the shelf uh, program or software to run your business so we have a team of programmers, you know, you know, who are building like our systems, you know. So on the logistics side, for example, think about a world where a merchant, you know, who's at, um, let's say, a Ladi or a Dumota, from the comfort of his or how our office is able to, you know, um, make request, you know, for shipment, yeah. and then at the back office we get that alert, and then someone goes pick up the item for onward shipment to his or our customer, then Portacot, right? 
so we we want to increasingly make it like more convenient for people to be able to move their goods from one place to the other without necessarily you know coming to the office right so that's one technology that we're, we're building in-house and then you know the cost of running like those you know vehicles um, is usually very intense so our focus is how do we you know break it down you know to partners you know again so an uzoma can say all right you know what i can make some extra money let me buy some truck and put into a gig logistics from the comfort of your home also you are able to track your trucks yeah. you're getting revenue or getting revenue and then we're taking our mind away from owning those trucks or those vehicles and focusing on you know getting the um, goods from point a to point b yeah. faster you know and also making it more convenient for you know the customers yeah. so all of the technologies we're building you know in-house starting it from the mobile perspective and building the engine that runs like you know all of our, our, our logistics uh, um, and platform so so your technology platform so yeah data you will be collecting all kinds of data uh, absolutely and so what type of data are you collecting what type of data are you seeing what type of data is changing what you originally thought and beginning to also helping you remain competitive and giving you that edge yeah so uh i mean data is life i'm sure you yeah. know this uh, so we can tell you uh, you know the way customers think uh you know from the back end we can tell you in a particular month of the year what type of items people are moving and from which area you know they are moving those type of items you know so it helps us you know position ourselves it's, i mean when you're doing things manually you're not able to you know gather those data you know but from the back end you know with you know server query you can you know you know get this data and then internally um, we're able to consume those data and you know share amongst like whether the uh, road transport or the logistics side so for example um you know if we maybe did a shared data with diamond bank for example you can easily see um you know for some someone like uh, you who you know probably you know do financing for like small scale businesses you can easily tell like the scale of businesses they do you know the type of customers how much goods they move like daily yearly and things like that so those type of data helps us uh, you know position uh you know our businesses to take advantage or not just take advantage but you know be able to serve the customers better you know and, yeah, so. i agree so um, one data i'm always particularly interested in just movement of yeah. male and female what they're doing yeah would you collect data on male and female so like for people who travel for example yes women travel by themselves um, so is this a 50 50 or um it, it's mostly a 50 50 so in certain areas for example uh i mean it's almost a 50 50 but you have more male you yeah. know traveling uh, so um I, I can tell you like with our data for example next year we can literally plan like almost all our schedule because we know what time of the year you have students moving what time they are on vacation so we can position you know from the ic we can move our buses from one place where you have less demand yeah. to where you have more demand because you're seeing everything you have like a global picture yeah. of like movement you know you see the hot spots you yeah. see the uh, you know cold spot and yeah. then you move so increasingly you are able to um, um, you know you're, you're more efficient yeah. you know data makes you basically more efficient instead of just doing guesswork you, yeah. you know so, so the, I, I really so the way i would look at it is that yeah. the fact that it's almost 50 50 means yeah. a lot of trust because yes the women going on your going on your buses yes. or, or, or students yes. and parents entrusting absolutely their children to, uh, to, uh, 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 to your care means that absolutely. a lot of certainty trust uh, in, uh, uh, so that's an indicator so, that one one looks at exactly you see exactly yeah. you're able to tell what demographic you know you're able to tell you know what these people even like yeah. how they were able to so um you know every day for example i'm able to get data um you know online booking whether mobile or web is accounting excuse me for over 45 percent of our booking now Fantastic. i mean this is like uh you know for that type of industry yeah. so i'm able to tell where are they booking our tickets more from are they doing it via mobile how many people are doing it via mobile are they male or female how many people are doing it via web so i'm able to deploy my resources more to that area where we know you know even though we we, we like to consider ourselves as a mobile you know first yeah. um entity because yeah. that's that's the way to go well, that's the future. That's the way exactly to go. so it's like they are carrying you you know in their pockets the pocket. so yeah so last question so how many vehicles but just do you have on your platform right now okay and how many do you intend to get to i knowing that you've said that you're not going to acquire
acquire all the very good you're yeah. you're going to the platform for yeah. so people yeah. who are like the capacity. Yeah. So where are you going to? So again, uh, you know, we want to become a, a transportation platform. You know, open up the system, then scale. Um, right now, we're doing over 700 um, vehicle actively on the Nigerian road. Um, you know, our hope is that you know we should be able to um, create a system where. Um, you know, for, you know, enterprise guys, p- people who are business um, oriented, you know, we should, you know, basically reduce the incentive for them to, you know, want to start up a new transport um, outfit, right? Because we're going to make it more efficient for them. You know, so, the cost of, uh, the cost uh, of exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. So you're starting up a new transport firm, you have to deal with like, you know, uh, you know the road safety issues, Licenses, the bad road, pay okay. tax, this that. Just being so, in Nigeria, exactly. Really? We want to take all that headache out, of, you know, f- you know, from the enterprise guys. You know, why do leverage on the platform? Mm-hmm. Because we understand the industry already. We have enough data, and we already have the platform that we built. But, but again, uh, not just doing that. You know, you have a lot of people who are already. You know sort of doing that but very manual we want to be able to increase like the level of transparency and that's where technology comes in so where you are able to sit you know in your home and know exactly how many passengers were in your bus exactly the location of your bus how much was spent in maintenance of that bus you know and and then the same thing with, with technology so basically just being able to scale you know providing like you know the best um, return for uh, uh shareholders and then also for most importantly for our consumers, the guys, our customers who, who use our services. The people, instead of, um, instead of investing in treasury bills, investing uh, 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 in a bus, uh, absolute, moving people, absolutely. moving Nigeria, moving Nigeria I, And you'll be surprised how, how uh, you know, interesting and, you know, profitable, you know, if we all run, you know, aside all of the, uh, you know, you know, government regulations yeah. and things like that, that can, you know, um, that can come out of the business. Thank you very much for for this exciting conversation. Absolutely.